Hello, I'm local journalism initiative reporter Maureen Strickland. Welcome to Civic Roundup on Chet TV, focused on sharing stories from local government and other issues of importance to you. In local news, Chetwind is seeing an influx of people from Tumblr Ridge as residents have been evacuated due to a wildfire. Tumblr Ridge evacuees can go to the District of Chetwin Town Hall at 5400 Hospital Road for emergency support services. Chetwind is under an air quality advisory. Wildfire smoke can be hazardous to your health. Register online for the BC Smoky Skies Bulletin for up-to-date information on air quality and how you can stay safe. Turning to municipal news, the District of Chetwind held their regular council meeting on June 5th, and it began with a delegation from the Chetwind Community Arts Council giving their annual update. Projects that were happening in the background were able to come to light last year, and the timing was amazing as mandates were lifted and we were able to get our community members together to participate in person and away from the screens. Our Arts Council has recently started planning the installation of a pottery kiln and 10 pottery wheels with tables. We're, we are working closely with the Tansy Friendship Center and will be setting up in their building. There, will, there we will host pottery workshops for local community, a children's lesson, family lesson, and a workshop for seniors. Within this, we will hire an instructor for crafting pottery and then bring in, next page, Aboriginal artists to teach the groups painting in the style of their culture while sharing the spiritual values of the artist. The Arts Council requested a $4,000 grant for annual operations. Council will consider this at a future meeting. Also on the agenda was discussion of the drug use in open space bylaw. On January 31, 2023, British Columbia launched the federally approved three-year pilot program to decriminalize personal possession of up to 2.5 grams of, of illicit drugs. Decisions by the federal and provincial government can impact municipalities. Like many municipalities across British Columbia, the District of Chetwind are reviewing bylaws related to this pilot project. The progress on the bylaw for open drug use in public places. Are we, are we starting in on that at all? Or? Well, I brought it up when yeah. the Sergeant Winnie's was here. We've, we're, we're, we've been polling other communities and trying to, to, to make one that works. And we've been talking with the uh, surgeon Antonio and Stevens as well about it. Uh, so it's, we've made progress, but it's not ready to come to council yet. Okay. It's, it's very, it's contentious all through the province. It's like, like the sergeant was saying, it's, it's not meeting the needs of the communities. But they don't want to to put in a bylaw that ends up getting constitutional challenges. My take on it. So we we do have it. We have it in a. a, a we've taken it to the lawyers and we're, we're reviewing it. We'll get something together as soon as we can. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Chet TV spoke with District of Chetwin Councillor Clay Basandowski to give us more context of this discussion. You know the goal of the decriminalization is kind of to move away from a punitive approach to, what do you want to call it? A rehabilitation approach, um, you know, like a positive approach. So every now and again, like, I mean, when things, when things change, so back when that bylaw was, was written, we probably only had really alcohol that, that could be um, uh, an area of concern when it came to a bylaw issue. And, we need we need to understand too what becomes a bylaw issue and what becomes a law enforcement issue, but uh, with with the changes in that that's coming up now that marijuana is legal and now that there's this three year um, pilot, um, yeah, it never ever hurts to to send the bylaws to the lawyers just to make sure that they still are meeting the needs for today's standards. And we've done that with many, many bylaws. Uh, we've been, we've, this, is, this is by no means the first one we, we went through. Moving on to regional news. Residents turned out in droves to the Peace River Regional District, PRRD, Committee of the Whole Meeting on Thursday, June 8th. 
Residents are upset about a letter of support sent to Scion Strategies Limited by the PRRD to pursue the concept of a treaty land sharing network in the Peace Region. There were so many people in attendance at the Pomeroy Hotel in Fort St. John that the meeting had to be postponed due to breaching fire code occupancy limits. I feel horrible about some of the information that's been shared about uh, the insinuations, I guess, that we've developed a model that's in, in some way moving towards allowing uh, unauthorized, unapproved access to private land. I have never ever suggested that, I've never said that, I've never insinuated that. It's a, it has been, and I stressed it on the January 31st meeting in that uh, discussion, it's a voluntary process for people to voluntarily participate to be able to, be able to have and re establish those relationships with their neighbours. As a result of misinformation circulating in the community with regards to the land sharing network, Chet TV followed up with Dale Bunstead, principal of Scion Strategies Limited. For me, the difficult part of it was that people were uh, given information that was uh, not true, and uh, that really stirred them up. and And it did not uh, absolutely did not represent the intention of the idea and concept that we brought forward. The PRRD board of directors met right after the community of the whole meeting and passed a resolution withdrawing support for the land sharing network. The postponed committee of the whole meeting will take place at a later date in a larger venue. In other business from the PRRD, the board approved an expenditure of $550,000 to Tetra Tech Canada Limited to complete a feasibility study for the new landfill in Chetwind. Agendas and minutes of all PRRD meetings can be found on the PRRD website, and you can also watch every meeting live on their Facebook page. That's it for Civic Roundup this week. I'm Maureen Strickland. Thank you for watching, and stay safe.